Hello and welcome to the seventh video log of Tim and I've finally got everything debugged and working uh, that's installed anyway um, I've got the all the loads are now working um, the bottom four rows of lights are working I still haven't got around to the deregister um, internally it's all working I'll just show you the insides I'll just unfold them here catch So yeah, that's him in his fold up. I'll just get the light here. Hang on a second. Well, I would do, but the light cable doesn't stretch that far. Okay, so I'll just have to do it in semi darkness. Um, so yeah, I've added in a new command that allows me to access all the registers to the um, ALU. Previously, it was in the A, B, and C register that were available now the D register is also wired in so it's not entirely redundant. Um I still haven't picked the memory, that'll go in here. Uh, eight by eight bit by twelve capacitor memory that goes in there that I've been developing. Um I've added in a sound a, a sound command, aka just a little relay buzz there, it needs work so you can't hear it. And I've added on a couple more blinking lights. Um other than that, it's just been general debugging. Removed a relay there, added a couple more relays here. Um, that's something. I've added the rewind button on the front panel, which I'll show you when I put it back together. Give me a second. Let's try to put it back out. There. Back there. There we go, that'll do. Um, that's up. Yeah, so as far as changes go on the front panel, let me that back up, we have a new rewind button here, so if the tape's running, and you press that, it'll rewind the tape until it comes out the end, very useful. And, what was the other one? Oh yes, I have a proper catch now on the front, so I can lock that in place, so it doesn't flick out like it's been previous videos. You also might notice that I've lost the knob off here, but... I'll find it at some point. Um, it still works. But so yeah, the program I'm going to be running today is uh, a little one that calculates Fibonacci sequence. Um, it's not that long. It's just two pages long as it prints out. Um, just plug it in, and then um, get some. Yeah, it's that way around. I can always end up putting the program in backwards and it doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, it should sift print out the sequence uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and then it goes on. I can't remember how far it goes. But since it's running in overclock mode, it we'll should be fine on time. So just give it a go. So it's pretty much running out of space now because it's getting right up to the, right up to the end of the image to still turn it off. Um, the camera's gone. Um, just rewind that out. A bit of funny noise, but oh well. Um, oh, come on. Keep the tripod. I shall just show you a... Ooh, power's going. Why is it doing that? Oh, never mind. Um, just a random fun features. You can just slide them all in like that. But that's fairly relevant. Uh, what I really wanted to show you was that you can 
run it also when it's open. Use of little internal power socket it's got down here. I'm not sure if you can see that, yeah you can. Um you really need that bit up and that can be out like that, but hang on, I'm just gonna keep it up like that for a moment. Um just so when you're working on it you can see what's happening. Just stick the tape in. Normally run sideways and left tape the head slips but it shouldn't do. Um so so you can get a bit more of a look at what's happening. But yeah, other than that, um, I've got a couple of other programs working. Uh, the multiplication one, which you saw in the last video. Um, I've also got Divide working now, which is quite a fun little one. Well, I haven't tried it on the new code, because I've changed it since that program's been written. But it was working on the old code, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be working now. Um, also got the operating system I've been writing, almost working, which is quite cool, because that, all that is, is um, basically basic calculator program, full calculator program where you can add, subtract, divide, multiply and you can basically put in a number on the front panel you put in, put in a number on the front panel on switches then you um, take I'm just going to put it back together just because it's irritating me talking with this in many pieces and upside down oh, that made a funny noise, I hope nothing's broken um, yeah, so, going back to what I was saying, uh, operating system, you toggle in a number on the front panel, then you uh, enter it, then it asks you, for, then it, you wait for command, you put in a command, say, add, subtract, divide, multiply, it, you, you just have these end, you just put in a single, uh, put in a single um, bit, so that would be like add, subtract, divide, multiply, and put that in. Then you put in a number, another number, and turn it. It'll run through. Do that. Do that process. Then you. Then it'll run back. You put in another process and another number, and it'll do it to the. Do it again like you would in a normal calculator. Um, that's quite fun, but that that takes about four meters long, so it gets a bit tricky, and you have to feed it in by hand because it's um, worked out at school. So I've got a fair few programs working on it now, but none of them do anything particularly interesting most of them bug checking but yeah so but the next thing I've got to do as I said earlier is um, getting a very large supply of capacitors and diodes cause it's, uh, to make the memory because it takes two, 100 capacitors and 200 di diodes to make this capacitor memory matrix so the 12 bytes of data memory so then I'll be able to do some interesting programs and I also need to um, get the external hardware port working and fit a printer, which would be fun, because it's not going to print off in the same format, so I'll be able to run them back through, but it means I can have an output of data, use the output of data, so I don't have to store my answers in memory, which is always useful. Ooh, I've got my finger over the mic. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, I think I, that's it for today. I shall see you another time, hopefully when the memory's done. Bye.